Hi, I have this parcel from Amazon. It's got a warning on the back. Um, it's got a lithium ion battery. So, you know, be careful with it when you open it. If you can open it, that is. Be careful when I'm throwing it around. Okay, this is a iBox TC 60 watt kit. It is actually um, a vape. Health warning on the back. Okay, my oh my camera went down. It's very strange. Okay, seems to be a nice little box. Um, wondering how to get into it. There you go, it's like a little drawer. Just pull it out. And then inside you've got your little booklet, please read it carefully. Um, it's a really important that you know what you're doing before you do it. Uh, thank you, Cad. And then inside we have the vape. Okay, it's all packaged really carefully, which is good. And that's the body of the vape there. It has a little um, uh, LED. Um, comes up, I think, with the temperature and stuff like that. Got the name of the, the makers there. And then you've got the on button on the side. And then you've got up and down on just below the L L LCD. Um, little panel there. Uh, this is flat here but rounded then so it goes flat to round and this is the part that you fill and smoke. Now I'm not really um, afraid with these vapes I'm afraid. I know that is the chamber that you can see the liquid um, and I know this screws on here. There we go. Into the type. There you go. Now then you've got a couple of little things which I'm not really sure about, which I'd have to read up on. You've got a little gadget there. And then you've got another little wire thing so I'm not completely sure about that it must be like um, uh, like something you have around the tap you know it's a little rubber piece there and in there is um, that's a glass piece so maybe that's a new one there I don't know it seems a bit big no it could be yeah it might be a new glass piece Okay, but I have no idea what this is about until I read up on it. So there's no point in me pretending I know. In this part here, you've got a little box. And in there is your, when you charge it up with your little cable. Oh, you've got, oh there's a little mouthpiece there. A nice rubber mouthpiece. So you put that on there. Better than sucking on metal, obviously. And then you've got your USB, and there's another little plastic gadgety thing in there. But I honestly have no idea what these are about until I read up on it. But there's your USB. You charge it up with that. Uh, you fill it up in the chamber. I think you undo this. Here, you can see that. There 
you go you undo that and you must fill it up through there I'm guessing but if you read the instructions given you will know exactly what to do this is a cute little th it's really heavy actually it is heavy but it's a cute little thing because how how good is it when you, you know you've got people puffing on one of these especially if there's a lot of smoke come out it looks really good um and even people that don't actually smoke nicotine they they still vape because it, it's such a, a, a fad right now i guess that nearly everyone is vaping if they don't smoke they vape I got my daughter and son-in-law vaping. I'm trying to get my other daughter vape as well. Um, I, th I think this is the way to go. If you smoke, I would definitely urge you to to vape rather than smoke because there are by all accounts 101 chemicals in smoking, which you probably wouldn't get in vaping. But, it, you know, be careful which ones you buy as well. But that's a nice little machine. I really do like that. It's very smart. It'll look good when you are vaping. Um, it's CE certified there. There's where you charge it from. And I believe once you fill it up, you need to let it stand. Um, I know with my daughter, I, I gave one to my son-in-law. And... Um, he had to let it stand for about 10 minutes with the liquid in to let the coil uh, sort of soak it up and get used to it. If you smoke it straight away, it tends to be very, very harsh. So let it stand, let the coil, you know, get used to it, and then it'll, it'll smooth out then. And your little gadget, your little um, LCD panel here will tell you what temperature what um level you are at so this will give you the instructions you need all the instructions that will be below anyway um it, just read this before you before you put it together read it all make sure you know what you're doing don't don't bust a coil straight away read up on it first okay thank you for watching bye now